kind of weird actually because I didn't I didn't come from a background where I knew anyone in the industry. So um, I I um, I went to drama school, and luckily here in the UK we have a lot of you know, we have that opportunity that anyone from any background can apply for drama school and we have funding, uh, government funding, to, to support students there. So I, I, I auditioned for drama school, I sort of was overzealous and auditioned for every single one in the country. And then I got into, um, I got into RADA and, I, and, um, and I, went, I went there, studied for three years and I suppose it gives you a platform um, which is taken very seriously because it has such a good reputation. And my agent, a lot of people come and see you when you're there, you know, casting directors, agents, directors. Um, and I got a really good agent and um, she sort of started putting me out there. And, um, and then my first ever job was a Stephen Polyakov film called Capturing Mary. It was a TV film. And that was how, where I started and then it all sort of happened from there, I suppose. But it was all thanks to, to, dr to drama school. I suppose there's one film that influenced me the most and it was called Dancer in the Dark and it's uh, one of Lars von Trier's films, quite heavy, quite full on, but um, I didn't really know about serious acting, but acting was always a hobby for me, I did it amateur dramatics when I was younger and, and it just it was quite sort of jazz hands kind of thing and then I saw Dancer in the Dark because I'm a massive Björk fan and um, someone told me that she'd made a movie so I was like okay I'll watch it and it was completely not what I expected it had all the singing and dancing in it um, but it was also this very uh, harrowing piece and um, and I remember thinking how did she a singer get you know be in this movie that was and and have this performance it's kind of unbelievably brilliant and, um, and that's what really captured you know, it captivated me, uh, I, the process, and that's when I really decided that I wanted to be an actress, um, or try to be an actress, um, I suppose it was that, um, although, you know, I always watched movies, I suppose when I was younger, I w would watch the films that, you know, were fun, you know, my fa one of my favourite films is Mary Poppins, and, um, and I remember watching that over and over <laughs> again and loving it so um, nothing too serious as well you know but um, yeah Dancer in the Dark. To somebody starting out um, my advice would be just know what you actually want out of it. I think in now even the generation that's younger than me, like maybe five years younger than me, because of the whole sort of celebrity culture, a lot of people are going in for it, into acting to become famous or to be in Grazia magazine or to, you know, and it's so much more demanding um, than that, you know, and um, I think you really need to know, you really have to care about what you're doing in order to sort of have a long career. Um, so my advice would be just to really care about what you're doing and be prepared for all of the trials and tribulations it's not as easy as it looks and um, keep in contact with reality as much as possible um, I think especially when you get to a certain level of fame I suppose it's hard to, to keep in the real world because you've got lots of people around you telling you things that you want to hear or whatnot and it's so important we play as actors we're supposed to sort of play people that are real so keep in the real world it's so important so yeah keep your keep in the real world and know what it is you want out of the out of the industry